नमस्कार आई एम हियर जस्ट टू शेयर माय ओपिनियंस एंड व्यूज रिगार्डिंग द डिजिटल कोर्स 2.0 इन द क्लासरूम एक्सपीरियंस लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम श्रीमती ज्योति एम मोड़ प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग एज अ डॉग रिसोर्स पर्सन अंडर सेकेंडरी सेक्शन एट डॉग रिसोर्स सेंटर बागलकोटे डॉग बागलकोटे डिस्ट्रिक्ट बागलकोटे स्टेट कर्नाटक अर्लियर आई वॉज अ गवर्नमेंट हाई स्कूल टीचर मैथमेटिक्स एज मै सब्जेक्ट गवर्नमेंट हाई स्कूल अजनो ब्लॉक बागलकोटे डिस्ट्रिक्ट बागलकोटे स्टेट कर्नाटक नाउ लेट मी शेयर माय ओपिनियंस रिगार्डिंग द रिश्ता कोर्स 2.0 बिफोर दैट लेट मी नो व्हाट इज दिस रिश्ता इज सो द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्कूल एजुकेशन एंड लिटरेसी हैज लॉन्च्ड अ नेशनल मिशन टू इंप्रूव लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एलिमेंट्री लेवल टू एन इंटीग्रेटेड टीचर्स प्रोग्राम फॉर रिश्ता under the centrally sponsored scheme of samagra shiksha in 2019-20 so let us see the full form of nishta here it goes national initiative for school heads and teachers holistic advancement it is an initiative to build capacities of teachers and school principals at the elementary stage nishta 2.0 courses were basically for the secondary section teachers which included well generic courses and also a one course which was related to the optional teaching subjects so now let me share my reviews again so the first course was the curriculum and the inclusive classrooms here in this course we learn what is the meaning of the curriculum and how it has been framed under national framework 2005 uh, curriculum framework 2005 and also how we can inculcate in our classroom present situation and try to build these uh, objectives among the students and the second one was the ICT in teaching learning and assessment so it is a integrated curriculum technology where the presently uh, like where we are staying in uh, last uh, past last two years we have faced a pandemic like covid-19 where it was very useful for the students and even teachers to render the uh, instructions of education and also even in the livelihood classes like present now we are attending the classes for the children for them it is very useful and everyone will be not of the same alike uh, they have a different learning outcomes and they have different strategies methods for the students to learn so this ICT makes the students uh, very attractive and learn the all the outcomes or uh, learning objectives of the instructions for the pupils and just uh, they come out through with the fruitful results and the third one is the personal social qualities for holistic development this course is a very useful for teachers because we are classroom itself is a small society where we find different varieties of uh, uh, diversities in each and every aspects of the situation in the classroom so this course help us to find out all the uh, personal and social qualities of a child and the next uh, fourth one is the art integrated learning where we can make the children to learn by integrating the art and also make them uh, involve wholly like uh, even mentally physically uh, for the children to participate in the instruction purpose and the fifth one was the understanding secondary stage learner it is a very important for the teachers to understand at which level the stage learners are so before uh, imparting uh, this uh, instructions or uh, imparting them the students uh, or the objectives of the classroom we have to know where the children lies so next one sixth one is health and well being so health is a wealth we all know that so before that a personal hygiene is and uh, how they have to maintain uh, cleanliness around the surroundings even at the school level and even at their home level is very very important and next one seventh one is integrating gender in school in two process where we have to treat the uh, especially where the co educational schools we have to treat the boys and girls with equal uh, gen- generality or else uh, we have to treat them in all aspects same now we have we are bringing or developing them 
the equality among the boys and the girls and uh, no differentiating regarding work in each and every aspect of their learning and next one comes the school leadership concepts and applications so we have to develop a school leadership qualities among the students a leader how he should be not only he should grow even makes the others to grow with him and tie he should be inspiration to others just to motivate the school uh, school pupils and participate in each and every and even help them to face the problems actually they face in their life and the third one is the vocational education it's a very very important thing because the children knows how to learn he just acquires everything skill and all but if he don't knows where to apply it it becomes a mere waste so in this uh, regarding process this school uh, like vocational education was very very important for them during the time of leisure they were able to uh, inculcate all these uh, activities and try to build their life like uh, just a full, full one and next is a school based assessment it was very useful for the teacher like me uh, for assessing the students and just to try to make out or drag out the talents and activities from the students and the 11th one was the initiatives in school education we have to just try to bring new new concepts or else just initiate the children to learn new concept with the new methods depending on this 21st or 22nd century we have to just make them to learn the new concepts and the last one was the toy based pedagogy which was very important for the children like toys just attract them and from these we can make them learn the child in a play way method and try to inculcate this totally whole nishta course 2.0 was very useful for me to inculcate in my classroom and as a maths, uh, mathematics teacher so you know it is abstract uh, concepts like where we can't uh, just uh, by chalk and talk method we can use ICT in our learning process and makes a very grand success really it helped me a lot in my teaching learning process and also in my classrooms and even children enjoyed it a lot all these were very helpful for me in the development of my teacher career. Thank you.